सो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित दी हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वेटनरी गायनेकोलॉजी एंड ऑस्ट्रेटिक्स कॉलेज ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज बीकानेर राजस्थान इंडिया एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन विच आई हैड बीन डेलीबरेटिंग वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन वेटनरी गायनेकोलॉजी एंड ऑस्ट्रेटिक्स and in my today's lecture i uh, we i describe something and we discuss something about the uterine torsion in the domestic animals the uterine torsion is the twisting of a pregnant uterine horn on its own axis it is common in buffaloes and cattle and it's less common in mares and goats uterine torsion can occur during mid to late gestation yet it is common during the parturition period in cattle and buffaloes the predisposing factors for uterine torsion have been mentioned to be hilly tracts the wallowing habits of the buffalo and because of the anatomy the uterus has no stabilizing structures during mid to late gestation the amnion is fused to the allantois and the allantois is fused to the uterus so if there is fetal movements then the amnion would move the allantois and the allantois would move the uterus then lowering of the four legs when cows or buffaloes are lying down close confinement the etiology of uterine torsion is complex and uh, not clearly known but it is uh, said that inordinate fetal movements during late gestation in buffalo and cattle are uh, is the common etiology in the buffalo the broad ligaments which hold the uterus a small and weak and the abdomen is deep and capacious probably that is one reason why there is a higher incidence of uterine torsion in the buffalo coupled with that some studies mention that there is a reduction in the amniotic fluid during terminal gestation in the buffalo and that predisposes the buffalo to uterine torsion the clinical signs include colic anorexia twisting of the valve lips and non progressive second stage of the labor in the picture above you can see there is twisting of the valve lips to one side in a buffalo with uterine torsion the direction of the torsion could be right or left it is uh, considered to be clockwise or anti clockwise the location could be pre cervical and post cervical the degree of the torsion could be 90 degree to 360 degree torsions in cattle have been recorded up to 720 degrees also so this is a normal uterus in the upper uh, left picture and the second picture which shows the twisted uterus the diagnosis twisting of the vaginal mucous membranes on the side of the torsion but the most appropriate diagnostic diagnosis is by transrectal palpation the broad ligaments on the side of the torsion are under the uterus and the ligament of the other side crosses to the opposite side and is tensed uh as regards the therapy uh, before attempting to uh, treat any case of uterine torsion the general condition of the patient must be monitored first and uh, then the approaches mentioned include the rotation of the fetus per vaginum this is many a times very difficult then rolling of the cow or the buffalo sudden rolling and then rolling of the cow slowly with the shepherd's method using a wooden plank 
and then laparotomy with manual detorsion or laparohysterotomy to remove the fetus. For torsion correction, rolling, uh, for rolling of the animal, the animal is casted on the side of the torsion and uh, in a uh, ventral, uh, in a lateral recumbency and it is rolled to the side of the torsion. You, the concept behind this is that uterus being a heavier organ when the animal is rotated remains at the same place and uh, when the animal is moved to the other direction the torsion is corrected. Now the Schaeffer's method, in the Schaeffer's method the animal uh, is uh, placed in a lateral recumbency and a wooden plank is placed as shown uh, in the A of the buffalo and then the animal is rolled slowly and pressure is applied on the plank so that the uterus does not come up along with the animal's body and so it is corrected. Uh, again this is a uh, correction of Schaeffer's method, the use of Schaeffer's method for detorsion of the uterus. Again this is, these pictures they show the correction of the uterine torsion in a buffalo uh, by using the Schaeffer's method. Now, uh, uh, the video is not playing, so I, I will. Uh, post this video uh, along with this uh, with this lecture or I will host this video separately to show you exactly how the torsion is de uh, the uterus is detours but uh, in fact uh, actually the side of the torsion uh, assessment of the side of the torsion is important before attempting to roll the animal because if you are rolling it on the wrong side then the torsion would increase. Then uterine torsion in the mares, uterine torsion typically occurs during mid to late gestation in mares and constitutes 5 to 10 percent of all obstetric, obstetric emergencies. The clinical signs include abdom uh, abdominal colic that may be mistaken uh, for gastrointestinal distress, parturition or abortion. Most uterine torsion cases reported in late pregnancy are often accompanied by excessive fetal activity in the flank region, recurrent colic, straining and premature lactation. Abdominal pain is variable and depends on the uh, extent of torsion. The owner may report signs of restlessness, sweating, abnormal uh, appetite, frequent urination, wide leg stance in the hind limbs. Uh, looking at the flank, rolling and kicking at the abdomen. So, in these pictures you can see how uh, the broad ligaments, they can be located by transrectal palpation uh, to actually assess the side of the uterine torsion. General anesthesia uh, is suggested for before attempting correction of the uterine torsion in mares. Uh, using 500 milligram of xylazine, 1000 to 2000 milligram of ketamine to a liter of 5% glufensin, administer intravenously to effect at the rate of 1 ml per kg per hour. In heavy draft mare, rolling might be less, less effective. 
non surgical correction is less successful in mares that are near term so again this is how similar to cattle this is how the torsion correction is uh, being done in mares but uh, they need general anesthesia uterine torsion in goat a history of straining without fetal delivery post cervical uterine torsion can be diagnosed by a vaginal twist yet pre cervical torsions are difficult to be diagnosed in the goat however torsion correction is easier because of the smaller size of the animal but exact diagnosis uh, continues to be difficult in the goats then uterine torsion in the bitch and cat bilateral uterine torsion has been reported in the bitch with cystic endometrial hyperplasia and in non pregnant bitch also the incidence of uterine torsion in the bitch described in one study was 1.1% in the cat uterine torsion have been reported during pregnancy and cats suffering with pyometra and metabolic complications the uterine torsion occurs along around the longitudinal axis near the bifurcation of the uterus and thus displaces the other horn or there is torsion between the bifurcation and tip of the horn the puppies that remain in utero die due to lack of oxygen and shock an animal in labor with torsion of the uterus is an absolute emergency and uh, emergency laparohistotomy and cesarean section must be performed torsions up to 360 degree have been recorded in the bitch the clinical signs include intense abdominal pain with or without passage of one or two of the puppies the abdomen is enlarged more on one side and correction includes immediate surgery so thank you very much kindly share the video and subscribe to my youtube channel govind narayan purohit if you like them thank you